Hey guys, I'm Andrew. I'm a remote software engineer working in the Bay Area. In this video, I'll share some strategies that help me stay productive throughout the workday, and hopefully you can take a few points away to help you become more productive. So in order for me to work productively, I found that I needed to set the stage for that. And that includes being in a space that is well organized and comfortable. So for example, before I start my coding sessions, I want to make sure that I'm comfortable in my current environment because any discomfort can be a major distraction. And so I definitely recommend investing into your workspace and that includes getting a good office chair and a good desk that works best for you. And so for me, I've personally invested in a Steelcase Leap V2 chair. And for my desk, I have an autonomous desk that supports both standing and sitting. And in terms of keeping my workspace tidy, I take a minimalistic approach and only keep the bare essentials that I usually work with day to day. And this is my setup that helps me stay productive and focused and is ultimately what sets the stage for me to get work done. So before I actually begin my coding sessions, I like to remove the distractions on my laptop. And so that means closing out of Slack, emails, or any other applications that may cause me to be distracted and lose focus. So another thing I do is actually move my phone outside of arm's reach. I can get pretty distracted whenever I'm on my phone. And so moving it away helps me stay focused to what's in front of me rather than scrolling and just losing time. So I like to put my phone at the other end of the room or actually put it in another room. And I know there's some lockbox boxes you can buy on Amazon that could help you and maybe that's something that I will possibly do in the future if my phone habits get pretty bad. So once all these distractions are out of the way, that's when I actually begin my coding session. And I actually structure my coding sessions in a way that's more manageable to me using the Pomodoro technique. I've used this Pomodoro technique ever since college, studying for exams or making sure I finish projects on time and it's been a way for me to really get focused time in. And for those who don't know, Pomodoro is a time management technique where you break your work down into 25 minute segments followed by five minute breaks. And for me, using the Pomodoro technique has been useful because it makes the work more manageable knowing that I only need to focus for 30 minutes at a time and knowing that there's time breaks coming up. And so this Pomodoro technique helps structure my time and allows me to really have deep focus whenever I need to. So I definitely recommend trying Pomodoro out if you haven't already. I have it as a Chrome extension so I can easily click on it and start my focus time. Another way I stay productive may sound counterintuitive, but it's actually stepping away from the screen and my desk and just taking a break. I found that stepping away from the screen helps clears my mind and gives me new perspective whenever I come back to work. And there's been many times where I actually stepped away from work and when I came back to it, I saw the problem in a new way and it helped me find new solutions to solve the problem. I'm going to call a day for work and transition to my evening routine where I also practice these methods to help me stay focused during the evening and work on things such as my personal projects or any other errands and get stuff done. If you want to see more productivity tools that I use as a software engineer, I'll put a video here where I discuss a few tools I use to help me stay productive and I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.